what up this is rama screen and in the anticipation of playing god which arrives in theaters uh, this weekend august 6 from vertical entertainment i'm here talking with the star of this new movie hannah kasulka how are you hannah hi i'm great thanks for having me <laughs> awesome thank you for taking the time before we get to playing god i just want to start by saying i loved your performance on the exorcist huge fan thank you <laughs> thank you so much i love that show <laughs> Was, what was it like, that transition from a demon-possessed story to a movie like this with the whole God and redemption stuff? Is it like night and day? Well, my Nana was very happy, for starters. <laughs> <laughs> um, and not really. I mean, the thing that I think people liked so much about Exorcist is that it was like rooted in real spirituality and, and the church and a lot of faith-based things. So, But it was nice to play a sort of good girl for for a change <laughs> <laughs> and do you feel... not quite that good but yeah not quite the devil either <laughs> <laughs> do you feel relieved that you don't have to sit through hours of makeup and prosthetics anymore oh yes yes <laughs> yes i was looking at photos the other day like looking for photos of this and happened upon some exorcist ones i'm like oh boy it was hours of of doing that it's a lot i got to do some really fun glam makeup on this set though in this movie so it was fun oh, <laughs> yeah awesome uh so let's talk about playing god let's start at the beginning uh so what was it about uh scott Briniak's script that drew you in uh what was your reaction when you first read it well i just love that rachel felt like sort of a macgyver s character which you don't quite see often with women it felt really fun like she felt inventive and you know she's a con artist like you don't see that all the time and i was just really drawn to that and then the relationships in the movie so i got to play opposite luke benward and michael mckeon and alan tudyk are all amazing actors and just the relationships and dynamics between them i was like okay this is good. <laughs> Plus Texas. I love Texas. I was like, I'll go to Texas. <laughs> uh, for the viewers at home, you're right uh, that you and Luke Benward play twin siblings uh, slash con artists scamming a grieving billionaire. Uh, mm -hmm. By the way, I interviewed Luke a few months ago for a different project. Such a gentleman, such a cool cat to chat with. And uh, so mm -hmm. talk to me about your, your process with Luke in creating that on-screen brother-sister dynamic. Or did you guys just jump in both feet off the ground running once the camera started rolling? Well, luckily Luke also lives in LA. So we met up before we started shooting. We got the opportunity to do that, which you don't always have. Like a lot of times you have to just kind of jump right into it. So luckily we were able to meet up before. And then in Houston, we hung out. I mean, there was such a good family atmosphere, like with everybody on set. Like I had so much fun with the crew and all the cast. So it just felt like it was there. Like it, we didn't really have to like do a ton, but we enjoyed each other's company and like hanging out. And so it definitely helps. And I'm an only child. So he's got a lot of, he's got sisters and I believe he has a brother. <laughs> he's got a lot of siblings. So I'm like, he knew what he was doing. And I just sort of like jumped in, but luckily we like hit it off and it was great. Let mm -hmm. me ask you this one question. Um, do you think you, Hannah, would be able to pull off a con? I mean, what what do you think, uh, what do you think are required for a con to actually work well? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing a poker face and a disguise and what else? What do you think? I mean, definitely poker face, definitely disguise. I would like to think I could pull off a con, but I don't think I could. I mean, I can't even, if someone gave me too much change back at the store, I'm like, you gave me an extra dollar. Like I would go back inside and give it back. So I feel like I would not be the best. I'm mean, very much like Rachel in that sense of like, I don't think this is the right thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Definitely, definitely a good disguise. I feel like that's the that's the number one. That's because if you feel like you're doing the con, then that's that's the biggest part. That's what I love so much about this. Like the wardrobe and the makeup and stuff for me just helped me like get into character and the wig. Like anytime you put on a wig, you're like, all right, we got this. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like sounds like you're too honest or too truthful, which is a great quality. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes. great for life, bad for cons. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's talk a bit about your character, Rachel. Without giving mm -hmm. spoilers away, uh, the way I see it, when I was watching her, uh, Rachel seems to be wrestling with her conscience, which is probably something that con artists would generally repress or put away in a box somewhere. Talk to me about mm -hmm. your understanding of Rachel. How challenging or rewarding was it 
embodying or inhabit her mindset? It was really, I want to say fun is like a bad word, but for an actor, fun for an actor. <laughs> we get to do these like deep dives into like hard emotions. And she was a really complex character, which is what drew me to her. Like she's had a really hard past. And the reason she's fallen into this career path is because of everything she's been through, but she's really struggling with it because yeah, she's finding that she's hurting people that she loves or it doesn't feel quite good herself. And, you know, they both have kind of had this mindset of like survival, like just whatever it takes to survive and it's us against the world. And I think the older she got, the more she was like, mm, this doesn't quite sit well with me, but also she's doing what she could to survive. So I think that's, it's a big pull for people and why you kind of stay stuck in patterns for longer than maybe are good for you, but they work for a long time and they serve you for a purpose. So it's always fun to play characters that are like up against two opposing forces <laughs> for me. And, and my a lot of tears. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of tears, my favorite scene is the one nearing the end, the, the scene that you shared with Michael McKean and Alan Tudyk. It's very emotionally powerful. Was it cathartic to be shooting that scene? And what's that experience like for you unlocking that all those deeper stuff in collaboration with those two legendary actors? Oh, I was so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was so lovely. Like they, they're both very funny men too. I mean, obviously we know them mostly from their comedy, but they're so genius at drama. Yes. And it was like, I mean, as the actor between takes, you know, we are having this like really intense, like the most emotional with the climax of the movie, like most emotional part of the movie. And then between takes, they're just like cutting jokes and laughing. And so it made it like, so fun and it what didn't feel like I was dreading it all day like leading up to this or week honestly like leading up to this big scene and then we get there on the day and they just made it like fun which is not how it typically goes and I was just watching them like in amazement like oh my gosh how are they this good and then like oh yeah I'm in this too I'm in this scene too <laughs> I had great people to play off of that's the other thing it's like acting is really you can't do it in a vacuum it really takes a team so if there's a moral lesson or a theme that the audiences could take away from watching playing god what would that be i hope people take away from it just like goodness in people and trusting your instincts like trusting your intuition and following your gut that that's to me is sort of the crux of the movie <laughs> Fair enough. Um, before I let you go, mm -hmm. Hannah, I want to ask you about uh, what, you, uh, what you're up to next on your horizon. I understand that you've also ventured into screenwriting and directing. And I read on the press note here that one of the several projects that you're developing is an action comedy feature starring Andre 3000. Is that correct? What can, what can you tell us about it? Yes, that's kind of all I can tell you about it because it's all in development. It's like very secretive, but I've got some fun things in the works. And I'm also... I wrote, co-wrote a horror film and we're attaching a director and cast and hopefully my exorcist fans will be able to see that soon. But yeah, some good things in, in the works. <laughs> oh, looking forward to it. So Thank you. for my fans at home, everybody go check out Playing God arriving in theaters August 6th. Hannah, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thank you so much. Have a good day.